You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, black and white sports supporters, we're going to talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. Of course, a team that we're covering a lot of right now, after, especially after the Josh McDaniels fiasco where him and Dave Ziegler gets the gas face and shown the door. And Antonio Pierce, a guy that seems to really be resonating with that Las Vegas Raiders team, gets the interim tag, and they have, uh, well, They've looked pretty good under Antonio Pierce, for sure. And it definitely seems like the defense has improved. Well, unfortunately, not every Raider, Raiders video will be positive, and this is not a great look. One could certainly argue, hey, you should have waited a couple of more days, another three or four days, something to make this look better. Plus, this also tells you exactly how, how else do I say this, how trash some of these teams, social media staffs really are as far as knowing what one hand is, what's the left hand doing, what's the right hand doing, nobody can get together. I mean, these social media departments and the teams act like they never talk to each other at all. It's really baffling, and I don't feel like you get that out of a more tight, tightly run organization. And look, it's, it's Mark Davis... Let's be honest, sometimes Mark Davis can uh, fly by the seat of his pants or whatever the saying is. Nonetheless, uh, this ain't a great look because they released a defensive tackle by the name of uh, Isaac Rochelle. You may be like, well, that doesn't seem like that big a deal. Hey, to this guy's credit, he was a seventh-round pick. He's played 78 games in the NFL as a seventh-round pick. And in fact, he had a year with the Chargers a few years ago where he looked like he might end up being an actual starter in this league for a while. He had five sacks and an interception all in the same year. And it was like, oh, maybe there's something here. Well, anyway, you guys realize that this month is NFL Salute to Service. Every team puts something out. No different with the Raiders. The problem is... This year, they recognized Isaac Rochelle's brother and his service to the Air Force. Hats off to his brother, and hats off to the Raiders for giving this uh, his brother some publicity and some love. I think that's great. That that's awesome. And then they turn around and released his brother on the same day. Yeah, they released him on the same day. I mean, sometimes these stories just write themselves. Because it is bad timing. This is the New York Post. Talk about bad timing by the Las Vegas Raiders social media team. The team had to make a roster move in order to fit newly acquired cornerback Jack Jones on the roster, which turned into the team waving defensive end Isaac Rochelle on Tuesday. I think I might have said tackle. While Rochelle lamented the fact that he was cut, He did have a little fun with it. Only a few hours before the move occurred, the Raiders posted a video and article on X of Rochelle talking about his brother's contributions to the Air Force. After announcing the news of his release on social media, Rochelle took the opportunity to poke fun at the whole thing. Well, I can tell you NFL fans didn't find this very funny because they drugged the Raiders over this. Uh, in the bad timing of it. This was the video right here. Uh, of And there's there's Isaac right there, and they recognized his brother that is uh, uh, right here, okay? There he is right there, Air Force. And there's Isaac with Notre Dame. And, yeah, then word that he got released started tricking. I mean, this got 5.6 million views. This uh, salute to service video and then news of his release started percolating in and well, NFL fans kind of let the Raiders hear it on this one. Maybe don't release him before posting this. And there is a little bit of controversy on this because some are saying this got released after, after they had already released Isaac. Okay, and that's uh, that's not a great look. 
It's not a great look. Then you release him. Yeah. Someone needs to keep the social media team informed. Yikes. The Raider way, give praise, and then cut him. Released him not even a day later. Yeah, it wasn't a day later. It wasn't. I've been released by the Raiders. The coach recognized Isaac Rochelle by using him to show support for our troops, then releasing him a few hours later. This person right here at Raiders, y'all trash for this. Release this after you release him? Damn. Huge L. Oof. Question marks. I mean, yeah. This guy's pretty cool. He comes out and says, thank you for giving honor where honor is due. Yeah, I mean, I think the Raiders were trying to do a good thing, but uh, it didn't work out so well. Oh, so you used him and just let him go just like that. Wow. Maybe you guys should communicate with the front office before posting these. Y'all used the man, then cut him. Released him three hours later. Tacky to use him as a PR tactic, then release him just three hours later. This is not a good look. And then he gets cut. Y'all have the worst timing with these. This person said this is crazy. There he is right there. Isaac, one hour ago released. Four hours ago, they released the video before that. Yikes. Yikes. Raiders doing Raiders stuff cuts the guy and then runs a salute to service about him with his brother. Can't make this stuff up. Wow. We cut him right after posting this. Cold world. Your guy's timing for things is pretty amazing. Goes on to talk about firing McDaniels when he wasn't even in the office. I, I, I don't care about that. Okay? McDaniels walked away with a bitch ton of money. I'm not crying for Josh McDaniels. I'm not. Social media team must be out of the loop with releases. Wow. The Raiders constantly make it difficult to take their franchise seriously. The Raider way, question mark. Cut, then release the heartwarming military story. Got it. And this is pretty accurate. Why is social media team so disconnected with the personnel department in so many organizations? Wow. And, and guys, it goes on and on and on and on down through here. I mean, same old Raiders. It's... It's a bad deal. Raider, Raider social media gets another home run. Savage. Timing is everything. Raiders PR. I mean, it's 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 crazy. Yeah. Yeah. People, y'all are cold for this. And it was that way all the way down. Now, in case you're wondering what he said, he did come out. He tweeted this. This is objectively really bad timing. And I guess him and his wife are actually uh, these big TikTok stars. I didn't know this. Um, He had recorded 10 tackles, was on the field for 120 defensive snaps, and 33 on special teams. So he was, guys, a bit player in all this for the Raiders this season. And, guys, this kind of thing does kind of happen, although this is about the most egregious of all the situations I've ever seen. But yeah, the social media doesn't always talk to the personnel and the owner and all that. And then you have situations like this that happen where they literally honored his brother, actually honored his brother in this salute to service video. And then he turns around and he finds himself cut released from the team. Now look, and the NFL is a cold business. Business is business. And At the end of the day, I guess what could have happened is they could have opted not to have done this story on his brother at all. And I think it's I think it's better that this story was done about his brother. It was very well done and well put together. So if you're balancing that, I'd rather see a member of our military still get honored, regardless of what ends up happening, either right before or right after it airs one way or another you get my point so tell me what you think black and white sports supporters make sure you hit subscribe appreciate you watching peace i'm out till next time thanks for watching the show be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports